I'm about to show you exactly how to get the aesthetic packing type video and how I incorporated this into my day in the life vlog. It's actually easier than you might think. I had two main camera angles for this. The first camera angle, I really just wanted the suitcase coming into frame. I wanted that to be a slower shot. That way people knew exactly what this video was going to be about. It was like a nonverbal hook. And then I made sure my suitcase was cleaned out. I was still filming, not on purpose, but I found my packing cubes and my neck pillow, so it was perfect. So I went ahead and prepped everything before actually filming myself packing the cubes and then packing the suitcase. And now that I was going to be focusing more on the suitcase, I wanted to have a different angle. I checked to make sure where it should be. I moved the camera around a little bit. You couldn't see I was actually covering it. Sorry about that. But I decided to go with a downward angle. And then this is really the main thing you need to focus on. You are going to put stuff in the suitcase and then step out of the frame. As you can see, like my leg is kind of near the suitcase, but I wasn't really in frame. I could see exactly where I was to make sure that you couldn't see me because I was putting things in slowly from the side, but you really couldn't see that because I made sure of it by going and checking the camera. So I would add a pair of pajamas. I would step out. I would add another one. I would step out and I kept repeating that process because I obviously wanted to cut out all the parts where my hand was in it. And then I would stop in between each of the packing cubes just to make sure I was saving as much storage as possible. And then I repeated that. So I did leggings and then a sports bra and then leggings and then a sports bra. And I did that over and over. And this one especially was just such a good color palette. So I wanted to make sure to capitalize on that. And when I was done, I did stay filming. I didn't stop the camera just in case I wanted to show myself packing the cubes, just depending on the song and how much time I had. And then I always, when I'm done zipping up the cube, I always hold it up to the camera for a second. And then I move on to the next thing. So I basically fold everything off camera. And when I'm ready to put everything into my suitcase, that's when I start filming. So I put everything in, stepping out of frame each time. And then I put in all of the packing cubes because I was doing like a stop motion type technique with this where my hand was not going to be in it. And once I got everything fully packed in the suitcase, that's whenever I clipped the two things together. I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep that in the video because I like that. It's kind of like the ending to the action I was showing you. And then I zipped it. Of course, it was a struggle. This was exactly 50 pounds. I was shocked that it was 50 pounds on the dot. And then I went ahead and I added my little luggage tag just in case I wanted to have that in there. And then I actually rolled the suitcase out of frame because that will transition straight into the next scene of my day in the life post. And in the next video, I'll show you the behind the scenes plus the final result.